uh, we can start time when I choose a character. So I'm gonna count down now. So three, two, one, go. All right. So there's a very simple reason why I'm playing on on adventure mode. I just need to wait for this cutscene to play out. So I can show you. So this is Freedom Planet, the, the, uh, this is Dragon Valley, the first stage, never mind, that was Dragon Valley. Uh, this is the second stage Relic makes, uh, probably one of the hardest stages in the game, which is why I'm just going to go ahead and just hold right, there we go. Okay, there we go, so, <laughs> due to the way the, the cutscenes are coded, I can just straight up skip the first two stages by doing this. So now this is where the real run begins. Um, so one thing you will notice me doing is I'm, I'm going straight for the bike as soon as I can in most stages. Uh, there's three levels in the game that don't have don't have a bike. Uh, in order to get a bike, I need to grab one of those gas cans. Uh, this is the wrong route. Oops. So one of Carol's main abilities is the bike. Uh, this is how you go fast in the, in, as this character. Um, right now I have uh, one of the five different shields you can get in this game. Uh, they're basically two hits that you get for free without taking any damage. And they all have different um, properties. Uh, this is the... I, don't remember, I forgot the name. The Earth Shield I think it is. Uh, which attracts all those crystals. Uh, those crystals fill up my meter, and if I get 200, I get an extra life. Uh, both of those bits of info are kind of pointless, because I don't really need to manage my meter in this game. At least as this character. Uh, so one thing I need to be careful with is when playing uh, as Carol is that the bike has three hits. And that's a lie. It's actually two hits. Uh, so if you get hit once, you're good. Uh, you get hit twice, you're good. You get hit a third time, the bike is gone. And if the bike is gone, your entire speed is gone. And it's very sad when you're slow. So now I'm gonna do the second round warp. Oh, I actually managed to do it without pause buffering. Neat. So what I just did by doing that is I confused the game by walking away from the from the loading zone as I triggered it, and it basically helped me skip half of the next screen. And now I get I get to show you how to do t uh, like damage as Carol. Uh, you don't want to fight in the bike. Fighting in the bike is about as fun as pulling nails. So don't. Uh, when, you when you're fighting bosses, you want to dismount of the bike. There's one exception, and it's in this stage at the very end. You'll see why. But when, you want when you're fighting, you want to be off the bike. Because the bike is too slippery, and you can't do consistent damage. Uh, the way you do damage in Escarol is you do something called Wild Claws. Uh, which you saw me doing. They're like yellow claws that you do. Uh, you see me doing every once in a while, just out of habit. Uh, that's how you do damage, you want to chain those as much as you can. Uh, another thing you can do as Carol is when you're boosting, you'll notice that the bar goes down. If you hold the boost button while the, uh, like, during the bar going down, you have four air, con air control, but only if you hold the button. Uh, this will make, like, this will be more clear. Uh, Later on in the game, it's not very much. It's not very necessary in this stage. Uh, you also see me jumping a lot when I boost. Um, that's why I don't run into stuff because um, when you get a certain speed, you start doing uh, contact damage, and when you when you do damage to things, uh, the game freezes a little bit. You know, like uh, I don't know what it's called, hit lag. I think it is. And I don't want I don't want doing that randomly during stages because uh, the game might slow down, but the timer doesn't. Okay, so this is the one exception where I have to, I have to fight on the bike, and I have no option. Uh, the bike is scripted; you cannot lose it. You can get hit as many times as you want, and you're not gonna lose it, which is kind of a shame because I would much prefer to lose it. So what I want to do in this boss fight is I want to break this guy's uh, plate in the front of the... This is called a Robo Panther. Oh well, Lilac managed to get a hit for me. That's nice.
Yeah, we have actually we actually have a, a, a separate category for Carol where you're just not allowed to use the bike. And this is the one exception because you're forced. But other, other than that, yeah. And the bike is actually faster. Not the bike, the, the fight is actually faster with the bike when done properly. Now you just need to hit him three times. And that was for tonight. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm bumbling and stumbling around when I commentate this game. Um, the entire game sort of happens at the same time, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to commentate it. So yeah, that was a, that was a, the third stage in the in the thing, and by third, you know, it, it's the first, but it's actually the third because I skipped stages because playing stages is slow. So now we're in Sky Battalion, the. Ironically, my favorite stage in the game, but also the worst stage for Carol in the universe because Boy, this stage hates you Like it actively goes out of its way to ruin your happiness uh, Exhibit A, those things They will stun lock you and they're very annoying Exhibit D, these things, they're just an annoyance Uh, exhibit Z, the bike, the one bike, there's one bike in the game and it's hidden. Exhibit D, those things are right next to the bike and they will instantly kill it. But now that I'm done with the literal hell, I can actually keep going. That was the first mini boss. Uh, exhibit E, those things can block you after you blow them up and kill you. So you have to be very careful with your timing. And after that, the stage is actually pretty good. It's just the first ship that absolutely ruins my happiness. No, what am I doing? What am I doing? Can I, get a sh I, need, I need a shield, like, right about now. Here, here. Okay, so as you saw, I got hit twice. If I get hit one more time, the bike is gone. And there's one bike in the game, in the stage, like I said. So, so I don't wanna lose it. I'm just gonna, just gonna play safe. All right, so the second mini boss is the ship. No, there's not ship. I'm bumbling a lot. The the. A chopper. That's the word I'm looking for, a chopper. And that was the second ship, and now the third one, which I already forgot all the names of. So I'm, I'm a very smart boy. I wanna go down here. That, yeah, I think it's faster than going up. As I almost get, like, mmm. Mmm! Easy. First first try. Now he's gonna go. I think going up is the slower route, but I just like this one more because I'm used to it. Now for this boss, uh, this boss has poses no threat to me. Uh, because I have the metal shield, which is this like gray shield. I guess silver is a better word for it, uh, which makes me immune to um, electric attacks, which is basically all this dude does, except for that one like gem thing that I think it hit me. But it's a matter; I still have the shield. I'm gonna ditch the, sh the bike over here and get up here. Uh, this is Dale riding a Robo Peacock. That is annoying, and I dislike him because his his fight is downtime. T the PNG. Oh, I forgot that I have to go. Down here. Instead. There we go. So what I have to do is I have to destroy those orbs on the thing's tail. And every time I do that, I have to hit. Then I have to hit him once, and then he does that, where he just swoops like from side to side, every single time, and it takes a lot of time to wait. You know, one thing that I've never liked about boss fights is when they just have forced downtime. And when you actually fight the boss, it takes like 
one second and I have to go back to going downtime. Now you'll see the orbs are red, that means I'm al I almost won. I won. And that was Sky Battalion. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna keep back in. This is far from over. Now you might be wondering why didn't you go grab the bike when it was exploding? Uh, that's because that doesn't matter. I lose it in either way. If you could keep the bike from stage to stage, this would be life. But it's not life. So now we're going to J Drake. Uh, a really good stage because it starts you with a bike. So just for that, it's like way up in the tier list. Oh, gotta be careful. I'm pretty sure that's the slow route. But it's the one that came to my brain instantly. So that's what I did. That's why I did. All habits die hard. Okay, so you know how I mentioned I have full air control when I'm boosting? That's actually coming into play every time I jump. Normally when I boost, I lose all my speed if I jump, but by holding boost, I'm basically overriding the, the air drag. Now I'm gonna w I wanna get up here, and I basically skipped a whole section of going back and forth in those dandelions. Because that takes too much time, I'd rather not do them. I'm also constantly like double jumping and canceling, canceling instantly with a, with a claw. That's more like, that's more habit than anything else because it doesn't really matter if I do it or not. It just keeps my, my altitude low. And this is Nera, this is a mini boss. Just need to keep smacking her. Till she stops. I just did what I call a high pound, a high, a high pounds. I have no idea how to do them, but I just do them randomly and it annoys me because I want to know how to do them. I don't know, I just do them. Those those like high pounces look so useful. I just don't know how to do them consistently. They just happen and I have to accept it. It sucks, they just work. They're a Bethesda product, it just works. Whether you like it or not, it just works. Well, I mean, I called it a high pounce because it's, it's a pounce that goes very high. Alright, so now I'm coming up to the boss of this stage. I'm just gonna hug this wall. I'm gonna do this. And now he's in a chopper. What I want to do when he's in the chopper is the is I want to smack the windshield. Uh, I didn't mean to get into the bike, but I'm gonna use it. You can use the bike if your hand is force, like mine is every every single time I do this. And that was Jade Creek. Now there's a cutscene that I have to mash through. It's like right after this, I can't skip this.
now I get to play again. Uh, this is Trap Hideout, uh, Carol's quote-unquote uh, exclusive stage. It's not really exclusive because Mila, which is another the third playable character, also plays through this, and the stage is better suited for her for her instead of Carol. Uh, those lasers. Uh, one thing I haven't mentioned: uh, when I wild kick, which are like this kicks, uh, I'm actually invincible. Uh, those lasers don't care; they will still hurt you. Because this game has to kick the cat while it's down at every possible chance. Uh, this game is like actually actively designed against you if you play Carol. And you will not change my mind. Now here's the thing. Uh, this is just like a, a, like a ball with wings. I, I've always thought that looks like an elephant. And... To this day, it's still an elephant, and I refuse to believe that it's anything else. I'm gonna use this barrel to get up here, and now I'm gonna get up here because this is where the bike is. Right there. So I'm just gonna go with that and go. Here. Use those dudes. Get the shield. And this is probably one of my favorite sections because I just get to do this. That was really satisfying. Go. That was really satisfying. I landed on the thing. I didn't mean I didn't even mean to land on the thing, but I'm gonna pretend I did. More back, more back and forth. Down right here. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. I'm gonna use the boost to break those. No, I don't want to be in the in the bounces. No, no, get me out of the bounces. No, I don't want the bounces. I dislike the bounces. Thank god the bounces are over. So now I wanna get up here. I wanna get up here. There we go. I'm gonna double jump four times. And hit a couple more times. There we go. Uh, there's an idea that will make more sense in a second. First, I need to kill 99 ninjas. No, I got 99 problems and all of them are these ninjas. My bike is gone, give me another bike. Oh, my bike is gone, give me another bike. Get, get me out of here. Where's the... the, 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 the <laughs> Christ. Alright, so that's the boss and that was the boss. So the reason why I double jump four times is because this dude's hitbox is active the moment you get here. So um, so what I do is I get his lo his health low enough so I can just run him over and it's over. You're here to uh, if I overdo it and actually kill him before he actually spawns, uh, I softlock the stage uh, until he kills me. So I don't want to do that. And I believe the timer still runs while the dude is active, even though the timer is off screen. Uh, now I'm playing the worst stage in the game, Thermal Base. I hate this. I hate this. I dislike this stage. The music is cool, but I dislike the stage. There are several reasons why I hate it. Uh, here's the first one. There's a zip here that I only try three times on marathons. When I play on my own, it's one time. And I got it. Good. Perfect. Excellent. Yeet. So yeah, that zip is incredibly finicky. I get it to work once every blue moon. And that's actually like the worst part of the stage, honestly. The, the most egregious one that actually annoys me. 
And I'm gonna restart here to despawn those those two dudes. I don't want I don't want him shooting at me and slowing it down. Now this is the second sip. I'm gonna get on this box specifically, jump on it, like below it until that happens, and then yeah. Now I want to go up here. Uh, there's I, I I can go below. There's no issue, except there is an issue. There's a dude there that will chase you if you do it. So don't. Okay, so I just I just smacked that squid so I could get its key card so I can continue the stage. Uh, those are other things that, that those lava pit like lava waterfalls also ignore your wild kicks. And now I'm fighting Spider Syntex. Uh, Syntex is like the name of the robot. Okay, that's the first phase down. Now she's like a thing with spikes. And she throws the spikes at me. And I, I do not appreciate the spikes. Uh, if, you have a, if you have a metal shield, you're actually immune to that attack. And uh, here's another reason I hate the stage. Uh, that bike. Yeah, you get a bike halfway through the stage. Because they 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 they, they suck. They, they they prick me and it hurts. And then there's like blood like blood everywhere because I got pricked by spikes. And I dislike blood because it's really hard to clean. Alright, so now I have a fire shield. Uh, this makes me immune to fire and also gives me damage on contact, like regardless of speed. And it goes away if you hit water. Now I'm gonna abuse the the full control that boosting gives me, and I just basically skip a, a huge chunk of just going back and forth with water currents. Also, those crushers, they just kill you. You have zero seconds to not get killed by them if you touch them. Uh, so, like, don't. Alright, so now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna wait for the elevator, I'm just gonna do this. And here, I'm gonna do a fatal skip. Which saves like less than half a second. But I mean, any, any time save is, is good. And now fighting Syntax again. And now she's a uh, uh, jellyfish. Wait, that's an actual thing? You didn't just time a, a screenshot right? It's actually a thing that happens. You can just not die as Mila. That's... I... God, I hate the stage. So much. But it's over. So now I'm on my favorite part of the game. But both of you to assume I would actually try it. <laughs> I would, honestly, I would have forgotten after my meteor thrown, if I'm honest. <laughs> So yeah, this section is just a whole lot of nothing. I'm just holding right and pushing two buttons. No impact, what? And this has no impact whatsoever on your final time. Because we use in-game time and this is the time.
gameplay. Well, we uh, do not have any donations currently um, to read off, but we can donate at the link that will be posted in chat right now. Um, so, you know, if you're considering donating, that's great. They appreciate it. Me and all donations go directly towards Trevor Project. LGBT youth everywhere. So, we greatly appreciate it. We do a ton of good work. So now that we're done with the mini game, uh, you get to actually play the stage. Uh, this is uh, this is Battle Glacier. Um, incorrectly called the longest stage in the game because I think thermal base is longer. I think thermal base has less area, but you have to go back and forth so much. You might as well be the longest stage. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned how to heal the bike. You can actually heal the bike. Now I've said that you have three hits. Uh, there's two ways to heal it. You can either grab another gas can if you find it, or you just transition to another screen. Yeah, the health resets on screen. Drills to break these walls, and I mistimed the second one so I couldn't get it in two drills. You can actually get all three of those drills in one go to break all three, all three like blocks you have to open there. Uh, but I'm bad at the game, and I can never get them, get all three. I can get it most two. I have gotten three a couple times, but it's not. Con I can get it consistent. And now, this is probably the biggest wall in the game for new players. Uh, this thing, it's called Absolution. And it's unreasonably hard for it. <laughs> like, it does so much damage. And it will chase you to the end of the earth if you don't know how to manipulate him. So, if you want to keep him in place, you have to make sure you're moving right when he's about to jump. No, he pushed me into the bike. That's cheating. Game cheats. I'm about to die. I don't want to die. No. No. I refuse. Well, now you now you all get to experience what it is to play without a bike. Sort of a mini boss that I need to kill to get rid of these blocks. Um, that's only uh, an extra life. For, for some reason, I thought there was a bike there, and I got happy. And then I remember that this, that is, I'm playing this game. Okay, so now I have what is called a wood shield. Uh, the wood shield gives me. Uh, it attracts he health health petals, and it turns uh, every twenty. What's it called? Every like twenty crystals turns into one health petal. Right, there's a bike. There's another bike on that screen. I disagree. Back and forth, touching switches. 
Yeah, I lost the bike on Absolution because he pushed me into the bike like a cheater. Okay, so this is the part of the run where I say our, our spider friend is back, uh, but no, no, I'm, I'm lying. He's in Dragon Valley and I didn't play Dragon Valley. J Jesus Christ, get up there. Thank you. Okay, so here's Dale again. He's back from Sky Battalion. Oh, God, I'm good at this game. There we go. So there's actually an achievement for doing that. Just hitting him while he's doing, like, monologuing. So the way this, bike, this fight works is I went to hit him three times. And that counts as, like, one hit. Because he spawns a shield. So I have to smack him twice to get the shield off of him. And the third time to hit him. Uh, there's actually a backup bike in this in this fight because this boss fight is abysmal without the without the bike. Because without the bike, you just don't have any sort of vertical momentum whatsoever, and the dude likes to hang out like a thousand miles in the sky. You can't reach him, you have to wait like 20 minutes for him to get near the wall so you can hit him once. It's, it's really not fun. Okay, so now we're at the final stretch of the run. There's four more stages. Uh, this is final dread of one. So this is a very fast stage thanks to those uh, teleporters. I need to take these jumps very carefully so this doesn't happen. Well, it didn't happen. Neat. I don't like. I like that those dudes are positioned perfectly, so that you just can you can just like drive below them with no, with no issue. So those airlocks, if I go to the bottom of the screen, thanks to those things, I perish, and I do not want to perish. So I'm gonna go ahead and not get pushed to my death. Pretty sure this is the slow teleporters. I haven't hit the top teleporters in over like two years. I'm gonna dismount here uh, because uh, if you're stuck in the bike in this moving section, uh, just just don't, just don't be, just don't be on the bike before the fight starts. <laughs>
Let's we'll find Renault 2. Uh, this is one of the stages that don't have a bike. Uh, that's that's a that's a box up there. We call it red box. Uh, like like in melee runners use it to like skip the entire stage. I don't because Carol can do it, but it's like a thousand times worse, and the trick is already abysmal as it is. And I like my sanity, which is kind of ironic because I'm playing this game. But hey, for once I didn't instantly break the box because I, I. I messed that up. Uh, this section sucks. Um, like this room. I, I have a very particular um, name for this room. I call it the room of fuck. Because that's the only thing I can think of when I'm in there. I don't like it. That room sucks for all three characters. gonna deal with the gimmick of the stage uh, timers is it the bar on the left that's a timer if it goes all the way down you're dead so like don't it was gonna spawn a shield that I need so I can explain what a water shield is um, it makes me immune to like bubbles uh, that that information is relevant for one enemy in the entire game uh, but more importantly, it gives me infinite oxygen when I'm underwater or in this stage. And I lost it. But it doesn't matter because I don't need it. I need this one though. Like this one right here. Right there. Give it to me. Boink. And now, goodbye. And that's why I don't need the shield, because I can just not play that section at all. I'm gonna restart here. Uh, to skip a cutscene that wastes time, because the timer actually runs after the cut, right after the cutscene ends. So now I just need to like, smack him in the face. That was final runner too. Uh, you gotta be careful because you can fall off right there. And if you fall during the ending of the stage, the game breaks and you're thrown like five fucking checkpoints like behind and it's not a good time, so don't. Now we're at the fastest stage in the game for all three characters. This is final runner three. Uh, there's bikes everywhere. Why can't the entire game be like this? I wish the entire game was like this. Spikes everywhere. So yeah, those like purple things. Stuff. Th those things. Uh, they're the one thing you're immune to with uh, the bubbles. The, the blue. The, the water shield. That's the word. Damn. I know how to speak English. I know words. Now I'm gonna go up here and just skip a whole section of the stage and grab that out of the way. Now I'm immune to fire. I'm gonna use that spring. And not get hit by those things. And I'm just gonna boost jump. And 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 double jump. And boost. And boost jump. That went way smoother than I had that he has any fucking right to. Oh, time. I just had to open my mouth. I just had to I just had to say things. I just had to say words. I had to say words. I have to open my mouth and let it go wild.
Should have remained quiet. Alright, so now I'm gonna abandon the bike. And this is an escapable cutscene. We get to murder a child. Let's go. So for this fight, I went to like hit Mila in the face, just like the other dude. And I gotta do something that I consider harder than normal, like wild claw chaining, which is like ground wild claw chaining. It's kind of like stumbly and bumbly, and she's dead. Can I grab the bike? Did I put it too far away? Hmm, unfortunate. No! No! You've got to be kidding me! That's it! Alright, well that's final run of three. Uh, we're up to the final stage now. Uh, final run of four is another stage that does not have a bike. Which is very, very, very upsetting. Nope. I'm good at ladders. Mm. Alright, well, I just tried to do something called dreadlocks. Uh, it's something not worth grinding for during like full runs. Uh, it's basically a really low chance to skip the entire game. Not the entire game, just the, the whole stage. You get to ignore the whole thing. You only need to spend four seconds to gamble it. It's basically this that I'm doing right now, but I get to do it for the whole stage. And I just go straight to the boss. And it's really cool, but it's really hard to get. Because it's beyond finicky. Because it's based on some pixels. They have no way of telling how to get out of them because it's a total crapshoot. Also, this laser can and will kill me. I have to be very careful. Also, I need this metal shield for later. Get me up there. Boy. Just gonna wait this one out. Normally, normally I just go straight for it, but I got a, a really clunky entrance, and the timing is kind of strict, so I didn't I didn't want to gamble it. Yeah, this way I want the metal shield, so I can just do that. I love ignoring hazards. All right, so we're up to the final boss. I just need to walk right to not get hit by that thing. That thing, that thing used to actually hit you. Like several pa patches ago, and now it doesn't, and it's really funny. Okay, so our friend from Battle Glacier is back. The the ship that kills everyone. It has less health this time, but it also has new attacks. And I couldn't make it. Uh, those like lights over here, uh, those are the health bars of the first and second phases. And you need to hit him one more time. Back. And I'm gonna restart here. Uh, this saves RTA. This doesn't save any in game time because the moment you destroy the first phase, the timer stops. So now we're at the phase two, which is a big robot. Uh, you smack the face, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him hit me with the with the laser so I can get iframes to hit him. Listen, I, I like living on the edge of reality, okay? okay? I'm gonna restart again. And get ready on time. Time ends when I kill the guy. You can see the health bar down there. 
Oh, I was hoping I would roll. Should've been a roll. And time. Let me just stand on top of the mines. And that's Freedom Planet. The whole game. The whole thing. It's over. It's done. Free plan is kill. And I'm just gonna skip this. Uh, this is just a cutscene where Mila doesn't actually die. Spoiler, she doesn't die. Hey, you. Uh, there we go. So those are my final stats. So you get to see my times. Again. A second time. Minus the gameplay. Alright, what's my final time? My final time is... 36.42. Yay! That's a time. Really good considering I didn't practice for my run whatsoever. I just went for it. With reckless abandon. Yeah, that's Freedom Planet. I don't really have much to say. Normally I would like say goodbye and stuff, but that's incorrect because right next to this I have to play Meteos and I have to set that up. It's gonna be kind of annoying because it's a DS game. Well, thank you very much for the run. We will be right back.